Okay. Hey y'all, so I am back with um I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this video just yet, but I'm back with a everyday school makeup look, I guess. I mean you can wear this look anywhere, but this is mainly for back to school students. So if you don't have a lot of time in the morning to do your makeup, this will work out for you. Still go to school looking so glam. Okay, so it's like 1.45 in the morning. I'm gonna do, I guess, a chit chat. Um, not get ready with me, but a chit chat um tutorial today. And we're gonna do a look, like I said, that you can do for getting um going back to school. Um, just look that you can wear any and every day at school. You know, I'm gonna type I'm a really late type of person, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe in that, but I need some chapstick. Um, uh, with Vaseline. Hmm. But um I'm like a really last minute person. I was always late to school, never had perfect attendance. I was late like every day. I was late when my parents took me, but I was even later when I started driving. Like, girl. The only thing I was not late for was college classes. Mm -mm. When I was in school. Um, I was not late for class because they did not play. Like, you were late more than five times. You were out. Like, mm -mm. you ain't wasting my tuition, even though I, I still wasted it because I dropped out. But anyway, long story short, this is a makeup look for you to, you know, get to school with and still look slayed anyway i already got my eyebrows done i already got them outlined with the um concealer so we're not doing a lot today okay for one this is for back to school this is for kids that's you know in college or high school and this is probably a good tutorial for like beginners as well but this is a back to school look and I know you're thinking like, oh my gosh, she's about to do something so hard. No, I'm doing something that you could do in five minutes. Once you get the hang of it, honey, this will be like second nature to you. Okay, so I just went in with my LA Girl um, Concealer, Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey. That's also the color that I usually use to outline my eyebrows when I fill them in to shape, you know, clean them up and things of that nature. I'm just using this as a, because I don't like, oh, I mean, who would like it, but you know, no one likes when your eyelids are lighter or darker than your foundation because, I mean, it's obvious you have a foundation at that point. So, I'm just, you know, doing that a little bit. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put um, probably some, this is NW45 Studio Fix Powder. You can use any powder. Another powder that I like to go in with is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. I'm trying to keep this video all drugstore, but we'll see if that's happened. So what we're gonna do is just gonna matte, you know, set that um ooh, that went on really dark. That's okay. We're just gonna set that, you know, for, make sure you dust off the excess because honey, that just went on there really super dark. But we're gonna set our concealer like as if we were doing a full face or I mean we are doing a full face, but you get what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay, whatever. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. You're just going to, you know, just set your concealer. Um, we're going to do a little eyeshadow. This is just totally optional. Um, I know, like, if you're, like I just said, if you're trying to do this in five minutes or in a rush for school, me, I was a last minute person. But I still always made sure I did my eyeshadow and my liner if I didn't do nothing else. I would go in there with eyeshadow and liner and no foundation. Girl. Get I gotta get my life, like seriously. So we're just gonna go in with any flat, I mean not flat, what am I talking about? Any fluffy um, brush. This is, I think this is from BH Cosmetics. All the writing is written off, so I really don't know where it's from, but it's a nice fluffy, big blending brush. We're just gonna go in with that. We're just gonna go in with any shade. I am using the Urban Decay um, by Gwen Stefani palette, but I'm just going in with Zone. And it's just a really toppy color. And we're just going to go in a little bit with our crease right there. Just to give it some definition. Some of y'all probably won't even notice. And honestly, I probably don't even notice all that much. But as a fact, it blended in with my um, setting powder that I just set in my eyelids with. But if you want to set your eyelids with this, perfectly fine. Do that. So, when I was in high school, I always kept it really simple, but I had to have something on my eyes. If I did not, honey, I did not live. So, we're just going to go in with any, like, champagne. I used to, like, 
I feel like an everyday not too much look for me is like a gold lid. Not also always gold, but like a champagne-y, you know, neutral type of lid. So we're just going to go in with just any. Um, I don't like that. I'm trying to squeeze it. We're just going to go in with any, I either did like a champagne color or a silver. This is like a new, we're just going to go in just very, you know, it doesn't have to be steady or anything. I'm not going to wet my brush like I normally do because this is for school. You don't have time to be wetting brushes for school. The only thing to got time to wet is your blend, your beauty blender or beauty sponge or whatever you're using to um, do your foundation. I think I time for the extra. So. Just gonna do that, and then I'm just using a um, double-sided Urban Decay. It came with the Naked Two palette, and I'm just gonna, you know, that's not even working, so I'm not gonna use that. Where did my brush I just had in my hand go? Wow. We're just gonna blend out the harsh lines right there. Okay, nice and simple. You're ready for school. Okay, at this point, I was like, okay, I have something on my face. I'm good. I'm ready to go. So then we're just gonna go in with our foundation at this point. Um, use a primer. Um, I heard I don't have any drugstore primers on hand at this moment, which is kind of weird, but I'm just going to go in. Yeah, like you could hear me just now. I'm just going to go in with the, um, Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatments. So, as you can see, your girl is prone to acne. So we're just going to put this everywhere forehead, size your face, wherever you want your makeup to last, your whole damn face. So then we're just going to go in, I'm going to actually, I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to keep this video all drugstore, mainly all my stuff is drugstore, but girl, we know, all love it can be. Anyway, I'm going to go into L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, I am the color Classic Tan, 109 Classic Tan. Um, to put that into reference, I'm an NC45 with MAC, so I mean, that kind of picks things in perspective, I guess. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we're just going to put a little bit. We're going to just just like a makeup look for school, okay? So, remember that. We're not going to do a whole lot of extra. Even though I'm so used to doing my makeup so extra nowadays, I always will be extra, but this is just a, uh, you know, everyday back to school look. Make sure you wet your beauty blender. It's not dirty, but I just blend out my eyebrows. I do use a clean beauty blender, so make sure your beauty blender is clean. And I'm just gonna pounce that into the skin really nicely. Now, usually I would have, been that I've been doing my makeup this way so long, I usually would have, you know, put the foundation all over my face if I was going to school. And, um, you know, then put my eyeshadow on. I'm sorry, I can't multitask if you can't tell. I'm trying to talk and do all of this. Okay. Uh, you want to make sure you got that everywhere. And as you can tell, I have really bad acne. This didn't even cover up the half. So if you want, you go in with a little bit more. I got to put a little bit more on. I'm going where I missed some spots. And actually, I'm just going to go in my um, concealer for the rest of the spots. Just because it's a little bit thicker of a consistency. Um, yeah. I don't always like going in with this as a cover-up mas um, mascara. A cover-up concealer, just for the simple fact it is somewhat lighter than me, as you can tell. Why do I keep losing the things that I just had in my hand? That's just because I'm throwing them to the side. But we're going to get some more foundation as well. We're just going to put like a little tab right here. Sorry, my hand is quite colored. I was trying to figure out what lipstick I wanted to do for this look. But again, like I said, just going to put some more on. We're going to cover as best as possible. And it's okay if you don't cover it all. Like, I mean, do it to your liking. Me, personally, I don't give a damn flying flute. Especially in going to school, honey, girl, get out of my face. Okay. That's 
not the best, but it's there. I look presentable, okay? I could go to school just like this and feel just fine, feel just as confident, and just as nice with life. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to set it with my MAC um, setting, not setting powder, but it's um, NW45. I am NC45. Don't ask why I got NW. Hmm, maybe they were out in C, or maybe this doesn't come in in, depth, in C. Shit, I don't know. It's too late. Can't tell you. A nice dupe for this is the L'Oreal. Like I said, I usually set my face with my L'Oreal True Match powder, but this shade is a little too light on me because I do have some over the tan. So I'm just gonna go in with my um other one. And y'all, I just did something so backwards. Where am I gonna still at? Girl, child, I am all over the place, but it's okay. I know they say powder and liquid don't mix. Like, you cannot put this on top of powder. But we're going to act like that didn't happen. Because we're just doing a little bit under the eye. Like I said, this is going to school. And, yes, I'm all over the place like this if I'm getting ready for school. You ain't noticed yet. And you're just going to blend that in there. If you blend right, it won't look cakey. See? That blended just so perfect. And I just put powder on. And that's because I didn't, like, cake my face with powder as well. Now, depending on what type of look you're going for, if you're that girl that you want that highlight in school under your eye, go for it. Like I said, me. And I got time for the extra. And just go. Oh, that just looks. Now that was ugly. Did that come out really ugly? Oh my gosh, y'all. Now that I'm out the white ball. Let's try to fix it. Mm. Bless my soul. Why did I do that? Just don't use that type of brush. I tried it. I think about it. I tried it. Okay. Don't look all that bad. Don't look bad. Mm. I don't know. But hey, we're going to school. Anybody don't look in my face. I mean, it is. But honey, if you know what you're doing, you will be okay. Just don't put too much on. You don't want to go to school looking like the teacher. No. You want to go and pick up a cute boy. Not me. We're just going to go in. Bronze a little bit. I'm using the NYX bronze powder. Or as some of you say, NYX. We're not doing a lot. I know it's somewhat the harsh, but it's okay. Because we're going to blend it out anyway. Okay. Just, you know, enough to get the point that I came to slide. Okay. My nose itch. I think it's like a piece of hair from the brush right there. Okay. So, that's enough right there. Then we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild. Sorry I didn't show y'all the other one. But this was the um, NYX Matte Bronzer. Sorry, it's dirty. And then we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. Now, I use this for blush and my highlight. Look at that. Like, girl. Look at that. Let me do a swatch for y'all. That's just one. That's this color here, the lightest color. Sorry it looks so bright. Girl. Honey. Wet n Wild did their thing with this. Because like I said, you can use it as a blush... Anything. I swear I'm off in the gather. I'm not even gonna lie. But I'm gonna smear the middle ones in. I just did down the middle. Right there. Tap off the excess. Like I say, you don't want to go in looking like the teacher. You want to look like the student. A cute little girl student. A cute little girl student. Who says that? No, just enough, like I said, to get the point across. It does have somewhat of a glow. So, just as like, I use this as a highlight as well. I'm not even lying. Um, 
I'm just trying to find another brush. This is my e.l.f. flat top brush and I'm going to go in on the outside. It's like two golds. It's champagne like a rose gold color on this on these two sides. And then the middle is like your blushes but they still like come on off as a highlight but they're pink. But again I'm just going to go right there on the edges. Stipple, stipple, stipple. No. Intensify. Just a tad. Again. Stipple, stipple, stipple. At the high points of your cheeks. You don't want to blind nobody in school, honey, but you want to get your point across that you came to slay. And that's just what we're going to do. Okay? So, I'm satisfied with that. <sighs> now, we're going to go in with the mascara and the wing liner. Okay? Um, I know this seems so, like, such a long video, but I swear it's not. Um, It's not because... It's really not. It is because I'm talking, but it's really not. When I'm just doing this, I swear it takes five minutes. You're not even thinking about it when you're doing it. So, again, this is not a so. It is like a rush video, like a in a rush for school video, but not so much either. Because this is also like, would you think I, you think I rush? If I was already late, you think I rush to get there? 30 minutes late ain't no better than 5 minutes late. I mean, it is when you're trying to get your education, but I'm not a school person. If I could have, I would have missed every day. Yeah. If I could have went and still, like, you know, graduated and all that jazz. Mm, it's not the best, but it's gonna work. For me to be talking to y'all, girl, this is like, okay. But, I mean, hey, we're in high school. How to go about fixing it. So, if this I look weird, just don't, just ignore it, please. That was just struggle just now. It was the hardest ever. Now I'm gonna go in with some... L'Oreal Butterfly Intensia Waterproof Volumizing uh, Mascara. Um, this mascara is it's volumizing. Like, I really like it. Like, it really gives those lashes some volume. I swear this is like, especially for those days you don't, Okay, liner and mascara ain't liking me today. Okay, whatever. If they clump up or get little balls on the end of your lashes, like this one did, go back in. I always go back in with my brow spoolie. Make sure ain't no dirt in it, but ain't no dirty mines, but you know, it's used for your brows. And just clean the tips off like flick them and that'd be good or even brushing through your like some I know at one point my lashes were like so bad at clumping up when I put mascara on so what I would do is I would just go through them with a blank spoolie and just comb them and brush them get them all nice and fluffy and then go in with my mascara as you can see I got some mascara all up right there so I'm gonna go back in with the same shadow I had and boom, girl, you fixed it. Maybe I got time for all that extra BS now. If I find a brush to be extra with, I'll be extra with y'all. And you just want to put a little bit in your little, little inner corner. Just pop a little something right there. Put on some liner. I'm using the L'Oreal Sickle Seam. Pick the color of your choice of lipstick. I'm going to go in and line my lips. I know this looks so crazy. It melted. I'm going to line my lips with Max Cork. Now, this is seriously my everyday, like, look. I 
I'm going to go in with Milani's Neutral, uh, I'm lying, Spice. And we're going to do color in our full lips. I know y'all probably like thinking, like, girl, what did you just put on your lips? You ain't put nothing on it because I don't look like putting nothing on it, right? Girl. But I did, though. I'm going to put just a tad maybe of lipstick just because I'm feeling extra as usual. And I'm just going to dab it in the center. And this is actually the lip cream, a more matte lip cream by Milani. This is in the color 12 Loved. I love this color because it gives your lips a pop of color without overdoing it. And it's like, I don't know. It's not neutral, but it's neutral, if it makes sense. Be real, but we're not. We're not doing that today. So if you like this look, give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Go to school, girl. Get your A's. Look cute. You know, if I knew how to do makeup the way I know how to do it now for high school, girl. Those would have hated me. But yeah, I think this is a really subtle look. It's not too much, not too, no. Like I said, you could get ready in the morning with this. Um, and yeah, like, I feel like you could just wear this. Like, um, I graduated 2013, 2013, stand up. Ooh, ooh. But... I graduated in 2013, um, so I've been out of school for about three years. Um, like I said, if I knew what I knew now about makeup and how to slay my face a little somewhat, girl, we would have been popping. But I hope you like this look, and yeah, so I don't know what to say. Like, how do you end a video like this? Like, it's back to school. Like, this is an everyday back to school look. Like, girl. But... I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to let y'all go. Give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you want to see next. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Do follow me on all of my social media. Um, Snapchat, nay underscore red 18. Um, my Instagram, Trinae Lynette.